Hold on a second. Uh, how so is your microphone? Talk, yeah, how come it's never... Uh, <laughs> there you not, go. All right, is no, that was, better? Yeah, yeah, now I can hear you at least. Right, cool, right, let me, man, let me cool. start the intro here. Yeah. Right, performing at Stand Up Live this weekend, Steve-O. For tickets, call 480-719-6100 or standuplive.com. He's got a new book. What's the name of the book called? Professional Idiot, a memoir. That is a brilliant title, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you. How am I not going to read that? Can I get that like on my iPad and stuff? Um, Downloadable. You, you can do all the e-reading, all, all that. I actually have a, a book signing here um, on Saturday at noon at Barnes and Noble. Which so, one? Which Barnes and Noble? Don't ask me which one because I have no clue. I think there is only one anyway. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. How do you? Uh, is there an audio book? Do you read the audio? I read. I read the first two chapters only. And but then what I, happened? I was on. I was on tour. I, was t- I told him I was like, you know, I can do it wherever. Like, uh, I remember because I've done plenty of voiceover for different, like, television work, like, in random spots where they just book whatever studio, and they're like, no, no, it has to be in either L.A. or New York. And I was like, well, way to go, shit dicks. Like, I, 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 I'm I, not in L.A. or New York for, like, the next, you know, the whole time that they, 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 I have to do it. Hey, you know, we, we had Johnny Knoxville in here, um, so I'm wondering about, he told us about how he has to have that catheter put in all the time, um, right? I don't know that he has to. I think that he's got a perverse right. pleasure Oh, in so it. it's like an OCD <laughs> kind of like, this I is what know. I know, it's, it's like a, a perverse thing. <laughs> he had that catheter before I got sober. Let's put it that way, you right. know? I've been sober for three and a half years. Like, uh, so the, the details are cloudy. I, I, I really Like his think urine, the details are cloudy. A, I think it's a shady, <laughs> weird thing uh-huh. going on. And, and, yeah. Uh, Good. I mean, whatever, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll just say I suspect. I can't say with well, certainty what when the reality is. He had that, well, let's say the story's true, he had that damage. When you go over your life and the stuff that you've done, what damage have you had? What have you had replaced? What's broken? What's real? Um, what's fake on you? What's not fake? Who's I, gotten the most hurt? Even it, it, for for me, um, the it's it's teeth and tattoos that are the that are the the real permanent damage. Um, next, uh, in some seriousness, is um, my esophagus. It's just I mean, my my throat's just fucked, man. Like my I have a, what's called um, stage three esophagitis. Which uh, I think it's it's all just acid reflux, smoking, drugs, bad. Living. Oh, that's not from stunts, though, vomit, right? Vomiting. Yeah, but what well, is it? Well, that's it. true. Is that like a cancer? You mean like you have a yeah, thing? Yeah, um, it's it's not cancer, but but it's uh, it's almost teetering on it. You know, I got to watch out for esophageal cancer. Can is that you why your smoke? voice is so raspy? Um, that's a uh, part of it. I think. Yeah. Part Sounds cool. So now, <laughs> if you had to say who's had the most physical damage, do you think Johnny might be making a play by claiming the catheter? Like, I, I got the think, most hurt for the show? Um, He definitely broke his urethra. There's no question about that. Like, well, that, uh, that's 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 rough right there. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, like, that. that's that's serious. That's giving it up for the team right, right there. Right, 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 right. Um, I, uh, Knoxville doesn't talk about it, so I probably shouldn't, but I think Knoxville's back is, is has been an issue. Oh, I and, uh yeah, like um, we had uh, like m- professional uh, m- massage therapists on the set for the last movie. Have you seen? Oh yeah, yeah. You mean like professional, professional, or like? <laughs> 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 no, nah, they were dudes. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, hey, right, hey whatever you're into, it is jackass. <laughs> <laughs> so that have you? Good stunt. Yeah. Have you seen stunts? You, I'm sure you've seen people go, "Hey, I was inspired by you," and we tried this. Have you seen somebody send you a video that you wouldn't even try? Um, there's one that I saw. Uh, somebody just fired up a, a, a clothes iron, you know, like yeah. and and just. Buried that into their, into their butt. Like, uh, <laughs> what? it was pretty gnarly, man. The guy had like a a, a lifelong scar, like with you well, of see, course like, every little hole in the in the the shape of the iron. Like he really overdid it on that one. You, like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to have done that. You know, so you got this book out. I remember you were on Dancing mm-hmm. with the Stars not that long right. ago. You know the Jackass stuff. But here you are in town doing a comedy show. Right. Wasn't expecting that. What, what do you do? What's well, that? Sure, is that? I mean, like, um. I've been doing stand up for, for five years now. So, know? what is it, ladies and like, gentlemen? Steve O, you welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Hey, it's good to be here. Yeah. Don't go to cookouts. I'm in the mood for a BJ. Anybody want one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you do? That's like, a great what, line. I would like, go what, to that show. What's some of your, what's some of your, what's some of your act? You know, it's like, you uh, know, it's, it, I, I want to go see you. But, yeah. But I want to know what you do. I tell stories that are all true. I, uh, you know, I, I feel like, like, um, Truth is the most important ingredient in comedy. You know, if you think about it, like uh, you know, jokes are funny when they're when they're true. Um, 
I talk about uh, everything from uh, the uh, like homoerotic nature of, of Jackass and Wallaby Boys, like um, how uh, I, I like to consider myself a faggot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? and a lot of people get offended by that word, but uh, but I am an honorary faggot. Well, that's nice. I, I've, yeah, I feel like that. Like all the, the the gay stuff we've done has been a, a noble effort to <laughs> to, to uh, bring people you together. Well, you hooked up with a transsexual. Effort. Yeah, a noble effort to rid the world of homophobia. And and I talk about the gayer things I've done, like um, kissing my co-star Chris Pontius's penis. Oh, you have? Yeah, I have. I have kissed How him. was that? With tongue? Um, no, no tongue. Um, it, it just It's really kind of funny to think. Like, yes, I, I, I kissed a man's penis, but it was not gay, you know? It was a dare? It, it, no, I was doing it for work. Yeah. We were both hammered. We did not make eye contact when that was happened. Was there a camera present? Absolutely. Our okay. buddies were filming and everybody was giggling. <laughs> All right. If there's no camera involved, right. then I don't know if that's for work or not. Right, right. No, there was unless definitely you're cameras just, involved. Unless you're just blocking the scene. I, it was on the head of the penis, too. That's platonic. Mm -hmm. You know, had I kissed the shaft, that would have been totally gay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> At least you have a line. Right. But, uh, but yeah, you just, like, like, like a lot of the gay stuff, I really get a kick out of it. You know, I tell the, the, the tranny story and that. That one's true as well. Um, is there a stunt that somebody else has done on the show that you're like, man, I wanted to crack at that, but I don't have the nuts to try it? Um, mm, there's, a, you know, like, like it's it's weird, man. Like when it, once everything works out okay, it's like, man, I wish I had that footage. Ah. You know? But but like but uh, I didn't actually do it. People ask me all the time. They're like, oh, dude, what? Uh, like 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 what will you not do? You know, like what what did you turn down? And, um, you know, the people from the VH1 network reached out to me. Totally a true story. They reached out to me and asked me to do a, a dating show exactly like Rock of Love and mm -hmm. Flavor of Love. Mm -hmm. That would be huge. And I was like, I mean, what do you call that? Steve-O of Love? You know? <laughs> Can you think of anything that sounds... Steve-O <laughs> of Love. Yeah, too many O's. Can you think of anything that sounds more disgusting than Flavor of Steve-O? <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, that's if you kiss his penis. Right. <laughs> so you won't do that. Yeah, I absolutely no way I'm gonna let thirty chicks tell the entire world how fast I cough. <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, 'cause I'm fast, man. I'm real fast. Hey, when you did Dance with the Stars, because you know you have your fan base, right? Sure. So you do Dance with the Stars. Did you see a difference sure. in fan base? Really? Big time, yeah. Like even uh, now, like do you see people go, Oh, it's hey, Steve from Dance with the Stars. Yeah, I mean you don't really notice it with the old ladies, you know. Like like we're like that's when Cuz they didn't watch Jackass. Old ladies were not as prevalent in the demographic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um What's the dance that you feel like you could probably still do right now that you kind of have down? Um the the Viennese waltz. I really? think I handled it pretty well. Nice. Have you had any like moms and daughters totally try to hook up with you at the same time? Moms and daughters, there was one time when uh when doing something like that Did happened. you do it? Yeah, it was just a little banana massage. That's fun. With the mom and the daughter? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Were they hot? No. It didn't matter. If you got a mom, that's IQ we're telling him. If you had a mom and daughter, we're willing to do that. It doesn't matter. You know what?